It works. It's raining mobs. It works. Just watch as it destroys the mobs. Here they come. Three at a time, sometimes five. For the win. Hey everyone, this is DJ Music, and I'm back with another video. Um, as you can see here, this is actually my original mob trap that I um, created however many, I think it was like two years ago. It was the first ever Minecraft video that I uploaded to my channel. Didn't have any audio for like, me talking or anything like that. Um, it was just kind of, it uses captions because I did it wrong. But yeah, um, it, it was a pretty cool video. I mean, it still works as you can see. But I decided to do an update um, to it and kind of add some of the new features and make it more efficient and stuff like that. Because like, as you can see, it's like maybe one mob every like five seconds type of thing. Uh, the new one is a lot better than that and it guarantees that they fall. So let's head over there. Um, it's over here. So as you can see, it looks like a spaceship. It's kind of what I'm nickna nicknaming it. It's pretty awesome. Um, I also have a hopper collection system right here, which goes into chests and all the way down into the bottom chest. And this is about from like an hour. So an hour of it actually working, it has gotten this much stuff. So it's definitely working, and, and it's really awesome. Um, but yeah. So basically the main changes that I made um, are... If you go in here, as you can see, there's now water. So the water will actually push them off the platforms. Um, the ice is still here, but I re uh, resized everything and messed with the water so that you didn't have to worry about um, spiders getting trapped because it was terrible. They had always, it was only a 2x2 two, uh, two two hole, so it was basically like this. And yeah, they'd always get trapped, and it was terrible. So I redesigned that. Um, and then also, now this is on a timer. So it, it will spawn them for like 40 seconds, and then after 40 seconds, then this will disappear. Or it will then this will come out and then push them into here, which is a collection area, which I kept the same. Um, this pushes them over here and onto the 23 blocks to death. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's the same basic design. I just made it a little bit better. And also use the 1.5 features. As you can see, I use hoppers. And that was weird. <laughs> I use hoppers. And yeah, um, also... My last video for 1.5 was based on this. It's step on block to disable enable mob trap. Right now it's disabled as you can see the water is there. If I click on this, it will enable it and it will remove, um, it basically I have it enabled so that the water bucket, if you have a water bucket in my inventory then this water is enabled. So it actually, you can. it's like a little status indicator. So it's pretty cool. So right now they're spawning in. They, you might see a couple of them but there won't be very many. Um, and we'll just kind of wait here. Here, the, here comes the beginning of them. He just kind of walked off and decided to come. So this is this is how it usually works. As you can see, it just kind of happens like this. Um, as soon as I get in my first inventory slot, I'll get water. And as soon as that happens, then you'll see an onslaught of mobs. So this is normal. This is how the old one worked. It's exactly the same. But in a couple of seconds, it should change. There it goes. And now I have water. And now every single mob is going to be pushed. So it's going to fill up and there it goes. So it, it dramatically increases. So it's it's amazing. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. It was basically, I mean, the old trap over there, that was the first Minecraft video I ever posted. Um, it was really actually popular. It had like seven, eight thousand 8,000 views, I think. So it was pretty awesome. I mean, that's one of the reasons why. I, w I liked making it. I liked editing it. It was fun. And yeah. Um, and also, this both of these were completely built in vanilla. Creative mode, yes, but I didn't like use MC Edit or anything like that. Um, so I did completely design these myself, including the five over three, and then three, and then t um, two of the spawners, and then three. So like that's my design as well. Um, it's mostly just trial and error. And then the ice on the bottom is just kind of a cool effect, so you can see the mobs. But yeah, so if I step over here, I can disable it. And then this is actually not going to disable it because um, there is no water in there. It just pauses it. So this is paused. So right now, the water will never come on and just acts like the old mob traps. So you don't have to worry about the water. But there's also a lot more spawning area for them. So that definitely works a lot better. But yeah, so that's that. Um, and then if I re-enable it, uh, come over here, re-enable it. 
the water should come back on if the timer has passed. Yes, it has. Okay, so the water has come back on, um, and it's actually pushing them all out. Let me come up here to show you guys. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see. But yeah, it's into these little channels, and then it just kind of pushes them out onto the hoppers, which fills the, everything else. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, I made it so that spiders can no longer actually climb up the walls, so they can't get back onto these. Once they're down, they're down, and they're dead. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me just disable it again, or I'll pause it, and I'll show you how it works. Uh, it's definitely redstone. I mean, it's not it's not like too complicated, but I also use the new uh, redstone blocks. This is basically a um, what's it called? I think it's an uh, T flip flop. That's what it was. So this is basically, um, I think, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but it's a T flip flop. This is a newer design because it uses these, but I mean, it's the same concept where the blocks here power something if the blocks here doesn't power it. So yeah, this just kind of pauses the mob trap if you power this. This is my little timer, um, and yeah. And now, if you disconnect and reconnect, it's pretty cool because they actually stay in the minecart. They finally fix that. Oh no. No, don't say you just bugged out. You did not just bug out. Did you? I really hope you didn't, because I'm going to be really angry if you did. Hold on, I don't want to see if you bugged out. He didn't bug out. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was worried there. I was like, no, no, do not bug out. Because I thought they didn't fix it, but they did. Okay, so that's fixed. Um, and also, so basically how this works is there's just a little thing. If this torch is on, I believe, yeah. If this torch is on right here, whoa, uh, thank you, update to Java, <laughs> I will remind me later. Okay, um, so if this update, not this update, if this um, line is on, then it powers all of them. So if it will power them once, and then this torch, this thing right here, powers it to turn it off. After the time it goes, it hits this little thing right here, um, and then this goes back around and repowers it. So that's basically what resets it. And then it just kind of continues around the clock. And that's basically how that much works. Um, for the thing that says, like, the enabler and thing, that's all this. It's basically, this is the clock that I have in the thing that's down. Did you find it? It's over there. So that's what I, I showed you guys. Um, it's basically just a clock here. Power is this guy, which has a test 4 command. Uh, when, this, when there is a player there, then it outputs a signal to here. This is just a monostable circuit, which basically does a two tick, three tick, two tick pulse, um, which activates the redstone, which switches the um, T flip flop switch, and that switches these. So this one says mob chop enabled, this one says disabled. So wherever, if it's disabled, then it'll be on this side, if it's enabled this side. And then the, that's, I love the piston. <laughs> the res, this thing makes it so much easier because you can literally power it just by that. So yeah, I just click that and it updates it, and then it says it. It's really awesome, and yeah, all the stuff you well, I mean, you could do it. You just have to, <laughs> you'd have to build a complete tower up to actually do that. Um, so or use a wireless redstone mod. So makes it a lot easier. Um, it is. I mean, people do say it's not really wireless redstone because it's not completely wireless. You actually have to have a player activate it, but it's still about that. So. I mean, it works. I'm definitely happy. You can use it for stuff like that. So if you just connect it to a T flip flop, then you can easily make a button that um, when you click it once, it will turn on. You can also just use that for like if you step on, then it's on. If you step off, then it's off. So you can use it as a lever as well um, or a pressure plate type of thing. So yeah, you can just kind of experiment with that. Um, thank you for just telling me. <laughs> Got an alert. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much that. Um, I might actually just upload this entire world. I'm not sure if I'm just going to export it. But yeah, this is actually one of the projects that I've worked on a while ago. It was probably about a year and a half ago. Um, it was just kind of a little mini game where it's kind of a fighting arena where you have you go in here and then step on that. And then once er everyone pushes the button, then the door is open. And you come down here. Actually, yeah, that doesn't work yet. I don't know if I ever finished it. I have better design now. This is really old. But um, anyway, back to this. Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, it's pretty cool. I really enjoy the new design. I'm also going to upload it this time so you guys can actually see it. Um, so the link will be in the description. 
um, and then yeah so check out my free build world you can see this guy as well this is what I uploaded yesterday and yeah so this is basically the same design I also forgot that I had other blocks here and that was just so if you wanted to have another test four commands going you could but you don't need it so yeah there's my little TNT thing this is basically how it worked I never showed that but you just have a single test four which activates TNT once this is activated so it's pretty simple I mean that's why I didn't show it because I figured you could figure it out and that's pretty much it um so I'm, it's gonna be pretty cool thank you guys I'm almost at 50 subscribers and that's that's been a goal of mine for since I started so that's probably gonna be my special for Dino Dash is I'll probably release it once I have 50 subscribers that is my goal so so if you ha if you haven't subscribed to me please do um, I tr I'm trying to make them try to make two videos I'm gonna say per week some day, some weeks like this week we'll have like four just really depends on what I'm gonna make I have another mod review coming tomorrow it's kind of a mod review not possibly tomorrow it really depends on my midterms um, but yeah I think that'll do it I mean yeah it's pretty cool thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later bye mm -hmm.